Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Gahar Chisite. Counting of votes for the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly will commence at 8 a.m. today in all the district headquarters. The fate of 183 candidates, including four women candidates who were in fray for the 59 assembly seats, which went on poll on 27th February, will be decided today. The NDPP-BJP alliance contested the election on a seat-sharing basis of 40-20, while the Congress contested in 23 seats, NPF in 22 seats, LJP Ram Villas in 15, NPP in 12 seats, among others. The postal ballots will be opened at 8 a.m. and the EVMs will be opened 30 minutes later. A total of 386 counting tables have been set up across the state. Mogokchen has the highest number of counting tables with 49. Meanwhile, result trends will be displayed and can be viewed from the Election Commission of India website results.eci.gov.in or through the Voter Helpline mobile app. Counting of votes for Meghalaya and Tripura will also be held today and are also scheduled to begin at 8 a.m. Political fate of NDPP leader and present Chief Minister Nipurio, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Paton, State BJP President Temjan Imna Along, former Chief Minister T.R. Ziliang, Congress leader Keith Herie, NPF leader Kujulizo Nyene, among others, will be decided. History will be created in Nagaland today if any female candidate manages to win this time as no women candidate has ever registered victory in assembly elections. The BJP already begged one seat. The ruling NDPP and BJP fought the election in collision while the other parties, including NPF, Congress, LJP, have contested without any alliance. In 2018 election, NDPP got 18, BJP won 12, while NPF backed 26, 26 seats. Chief Electoral Officer Naglin V. Shishang Shekhar said, elaborate arrangement has been made across 59 assembly constituencies to conduct the counting of votes today. He said, out of which 39 assembly constituencies have been earmarked with separate room and 26 more will be held at the bigger hall as per the standard norms, having separate partition, entry and exit. Addressing media persons yesterday at his office, he said, counting for each assembly constituency will go on simultaneously. Elaborate security are also in place, with outer cordon being guarded by the state police. The second consists of state armed police, and the innermost cordon consists of the central armed police forces. Shekhar also said, besides the EVMs counting, a separate boot for VVPAT counting will take place, where five randomly selected polling stations per assembly constituency will mandatorily do verification of the paper slips and tallied with the obtained EVM count. Shekhar said there are 59 observers, one each for the 59 assembly constituency. Chief Electoral Officer CEO Naglin V. Shishang Shekhar said repolling at the four polling stations were held smoothly in four assembly constituencies. He said repoll at Zineboto closed in time with voters turnout of 54.16%, Sani's Waka with 67.66%, while 97.55% at Tizet Mon and 69.81 voting percentage at Tonoknu in Noklak stating that the Election Commission has elaborate system before it takes any decisions on the repoll. The CEO said the repoll was conducted due to clear evidence of proxy in Noklak and Zineboto. Shekhar said, while other two polling stations, repoll was held since presiding and polling officials did not follow the standard protocol on election. Shekhar said, one person have died from a post-poll violence and post-mortem will be held today. Regional News Unit All India Radio Kohima will bring a special coverage of the state general elections results today. A live discussion on election results and trends will be broadcast from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with experts in the studio and correspondents across the districts joining in the program, including a special early bulletin on election results from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. The program will be broadcast on AIR Kohima FM Tragopan 103 MHz. Listeners can also listen to the live programs on News on air app with that we come to the end of the morning news have a nice day